Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananama Anjali Hey. And today we're going to be reacting to another acad epidemic another epidemic outbreak in China. So the other day we heard that there was another outbreak. Yeah. And and again another outbreak. So, so where are they coming from? Like are they coming from a lab? Or are they all just because Chinese people are so disgusting that they're eating this stuff? Yeah, we. Know, I don't. I I don't know. Like it's hard for me to it's believe. All because they're eating crap. a bunch of crap. But I think some of it has to be from a lab. Like the Corona was from a lab. But where yeah. are all these others coming from? Do they just have bottles of like? viruses in their lab i don't know because nobody's going to investigate there's no investigation there's no investigation but china is suing india for banning their apps someone should be suing china for their outbreak on coronavirus and all these other viruses and then banning our apps but china doesn't care no and people are trying to sue them but china doesn't care they run by a whole their own world there in the ccp and they don't care what the world thinks they're, they're not going to take in what the world thinks, but they no. want the world to take in all their Chinese plastic stuff and their electronics. But that's not going to happen. Them all their money. We're not going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. We're done with this. Yeah. Why another outbreak? Like you said, is it coming from a lab? You can't tell me that they are eating such disgusting stuff and that they're that dirty that they're bringing these viruses. Like, that's hard for me but to believe. But how does it get out? And why are they doing this? And why are they so close to each other? Like, we just had the Hanta virus. We just did that Hanta virus. And now we have another ago. virus. Yeah. And is it is it new? Or are they just seeing more of it and so now they're freaked out because the world is yelling about the coronavirus that they're trying to but where tell are people? they getting it exactly where is it coming from where is it coming from we haven't seen hanta since like back so yeah. where did they get it from yeah it's like some of the viruses that started in china way back are now coming back into play and some of them are new like is it all from a lab and is it and if it's from a lab because you're trying to do biological warfare, it's actually coming out on your own people. And so that's not really helping That's not case. helping you at all. You need to let people in to investigate so that you can find out what's going wrong so that you're not spreading this to the world, yeah. like, by accident. Plus, another thing is, if it was way back when, how are they getting these viruses? They don't just have, like... It can't be, like, their eating habits because how would it get back to them? Yeah, I have no idea. Like, this just blows my mind that these keep coming. Like, every couple days we find a new virus is coming out of there. This seems to be um, a pretty bad one. And so, yeah, why is it... Where is the resolution at the UN on the amount of viruses that are coming out of China and that there's no investigation. And that China's suing us. Yeah. Like, the world needs to open their eyes, and I hope they do. This border issue with India seems like they're backing off, and but I hope people keep the political chess going. Like, we need to keep going on them. We need to be able to get them to investigate. They need to free Tibet and free Hong yeah. Kong and free Taiwan. They need to, you know, let the Uyghur Muslims out of the concentration camps. Like, there's so many things that have been going wrong in China, and I think they feel like nobody was paying attention, but it's 2020 now. Not only do we have satellites, but the world has eyes on China now. We since have social media. Do you have that? Mm, do you have Facebook and Twitter and Google? And no, but the rest of us do. Do you have Leon? Oh, you are getting rid of everything. Your people are want freedom of Your speech. Your people need to and, know the truth and mm -hmm. who died at that border. Like, nobody's saying anything. Yeah. So we need answers, China, and we're not the only country that wants answers. No. But this is ridiculous. Another outbreak. So we're going to watch it. Ready? Yeah. What was once the world's most feared disease may be back again, courtesy China. 
A city in China's Inner Mongolia has reported yeah, a suspected thanks, case of bubonic plague, the same disease that killed more than 50 million people in the 14th century Europe. The city has been put on high alert with authorities on the lookout uh. for a second case. Bubonic plague is highly infectious, often fatal. It is transmitted by animals, often marmots, which are eaten in several regions in China. As the world battles the Wuhan virus, China's yeah, live animal be. markets have dragged millions of lives to another potential healthcare crisis. Here's a report. This is the Chinese city of Bayanur in Inner Mongolia. The epicenter of what may be another epidemic, if not a pandemic. China's questionable healthcare and animal trade has risked the lives of millions yet again. A patient has been admitted to a hospital in Bayanur. He is a herdsman and is suspected to be infected by the bubonic plague, a disease which has long been synonymous to death. This is a Wuhan rerun. The bubonic plague is a zoonotic disease. It is transmitted through flea bites, rodents and infected animals. The bubonic plague is highly infectious and often fatal. The disease results in painful, swollen lymph nodes. Patients have fever, chills and coughing. Bayanur authorities have issued a level 3 warning for plague prevention. The residents of Bayanur have been told to minimize the risk of human to human transmission. They've also been told to avoid hunting and eating certain animals like marmots. Uh. Is there a cure for the bubonic plague? Yes, the WHO says the bubonic plague can be cured using common no, no, antibiotics. The but yeah. there's a catch. Yeah, of course. The antibiotics need to be administered urgently. If an infected adult is not urgently hospitalized, then he or she can die in less than 24 hours. If untreated, the plague can kill at least 30 to 60% of the infected people. Now account for the fact that healthcare facilities around the world are already saturated, courtesy the Wuhan virus. Yeah, what about the hunter virus? Uh, so the question so is, can a bubonic virus, plague yeah. explode? Yes, it can, and it has in the past. The disease caused the Black Death pandemic in the 14th century. It spread to Asia, Europe and Africa. At least 50 million people were killed in Europe alone. In 2017, Madagascar saw over 300 cases. Mongolia saw two cases last year. Both the patients had eaten raw marmot meat. It all comes down to China's animal trade and wet markets. Over the weekend, Chinese authorities asked people to report dead or six marmots. But how is this enough? The world is already battling the Wuhan virus, one whose origin lies in one of the city's infamous wet markets. Is it then a coincidence that there's a potential outbreak of another zoonotic disease in China? Stamping out animal trade on paper is not enough. Marmots have a proven track record of spelling disaster. And, and in China, they are selling like hotcakes. In other words, China is a threat to global healthcare. Yeah. And this is being proved over and over, and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. This is crazy. I mean, like, mm -hmm. how many viruses have come into China? That's crazy. And I feel like this one in particular is basically because of their eating habits. And my question yeah. is... How many viruses have come into India? None. And that's just because of the big difference between China and India's eating habits. Yeah, we've seen it. I mean, this is not the first time they've talked. When the coronavirus came out, they tried to point at the wet market. And I know the wet market has been involved in, in other viruses And that's as most well. likely why we looked at it, because of their bad eating habits. So we're mm -hmm. going into 
the coronavirus and being like, okay, it probably would be because of their bad eating habits, but it wasn't. Right. So as much as we thought, like, maybe it's more lab-based, this right now is shooting more towards stop eating the rodents. They're eating... Ew. Ew. Like, that's just gross. Now, we know, like... 40 to 60 percent of india is vegetarian the number i get different numbers from different people some people say 70 some people say 40 but i know a good chunk of uh of indians are vegetarians if not they eat very few like just fish or just just eggs like very Um, little yeah very very little um, they're not into eating bats and snakes and rodents not and at all. pigs and all kinds of stuff that eat crap. I was about ready to throw up in the mm-hmm. video because of what I saw. Yeah, I mean, they showed pictures. It was really gross. And uh, it was. we'll try to cut some of that out because, yeah. But this is the thing. Like, why? This is a plague that happened in the 14th century like why so now many hundreds of years ago why is it coming back now and after all the viruses that came yeah. into china why is it coming back now yeah what else is going on is it really just the food because this is pretty gross if this is just your food eating habits that is that's a really huge bad wake up call you need to, to stop. stop eating rodents and bats i mean either and way they need to stop and, yeah that's just disgusting and there that would save your whole world i think a if lot. you stop yeah. eating all of this if this is truly where they're coming from um, I still think there needs to be an investigation. I don't 100% believe all of it is food habits, but I bet a lot of it is if you're eating things like this um, that most people don't eat. There's a reason we don't eat them. There is, yeah. Mm. But India has always been a wonderful place that has never released any horrible viruses on the world um, has always been peaceful and and welcomes people with open arms democracy freedom of speech just china can learn a thing or two china needs to learn a lot from india um and i hope right now the world needs to get them hit them hard they need to get an investigation in there to find out why this keeps happening over and over and over again and no backing down political warfare and we need an investigation this is the way to go right now yeah china needs to be taken down it's not the first virus it's not the first time they've violated treaties violated patents we've heard it left and right from trump you know crossing the border when they're not supposed to showing up with sticks with barbed wire on them thing one thing after the other after the other and the world has kept silent about tibet now hong kong we need to speak out and speak up so we need an investigation we need free tibet free hong kong free yeah. taiwan free the mongolian uyghur muslims mongolia out inner mongolia it, it's one thing after the other and and china needs to be held accountable yeah and until we get some answers i pray that there is not i mean it's like every other day we're getting a new thing about i pray virus. that it doesn't go out to the world i hope that it just like stays there in china and we can stop it yeah well if they don't let flights out everywhere but if it's a food thing hopefully it doesn't transmit person to person yeah yeah so we'll keep you guys posted on what we learn and let us know if you hear of anything else. But I, I keep scaring when I watch the news that there's a new oh God, virus yeah. coming from China. So Coming we from to, where again? Yeah. Hit them hard and somebody needs to start this investigation like ASAP. Yeah. Like yesterday. So I hope we'll see you guys. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.